it does not look like the George Webb Swigert soap opera is going away anytime soon. So I am going to report on it every so often. Whenever some important information comes out, I am going to report on it. In fact, I kind of look at it as a case study in human nature. Now, I don't want to make fun of anybody or humiliate anyone, but this drama must be understood. Going forward in this new medium of YouTube and the Internet, where anyone can be a citizen journalist, there has to be something we can learn here. I am going to try to approach it as a case study, as I said, in human nature, how humans react under duress, under very stressful circumstances. Some people always, a lot of people wonder why the movie, the Godfather movie, was so popular. It was family, family interaction under very, very stressful circumstances. And how do families get out of it? How do they go forward? I understand. Some people think that this is just too much and they do not want to get involved with it. I understand. But I sort of look at things a little differently. I think that there's something that we can learn from this situation. We can always learn from other people's mistakes. Now, let's start with how it all began. Of course, it all began with an investigation into Seth Rich, or possibly even going back to Pizzagate. And at the time, I believe that George Webb was working on his own, but we don't know. We don't know for sure. Let's find out what we're actually doing here in this case study. What are, we, what are our goals here? We want to find out who, what, where, when, why, and how. We want to know everything. But most importantly, here's my number one goal. Because I'm not sure about it right now. Here's my number one goal. I want to find out the truth. Is this an elaborate PSYOP that has been pre-planned? Or is this just a, a family tragedy? Or a combination of both? I'll repeat that. These are my goals in this case study. Once I find out the truth, then the case study will be over. I will repeat myself. Here's what the goal is. The main goal we have to find out is this an elaborate psyop that has been pre-planned out. And if it is a psyop, who is responsible? Who's involved? Who are the characters? Who are the perpetrators? And or or is this just a family tragedy that went haywire? Now, according to Dave Acton, he believes, Dave Acton believes that he's going to be able to clean this mess up within three to six weeks. He's referring to possibly he has government experience. He may work with the government. I'm not going to speculate into anything. Remember, this is just a case study and the situation we're going to find out. Who, what, where, when, why, and how. Now, of course, there are different types of case studies. Uh, first of all, in the beginning, you have exploratory. Yes, you have, there's the, uh, the list here. You have exploratory types where we, uh, sometimes I believe in the first stage, you have to do some speculating. And then you have a descriptive case study where you do it without speculating and then you have explanatory where you explain it all out. We're going to be diving into all three of these and maybe even different, even more other different types of case studies. As I said, this case is not going away. The New York Times is reporting on it. I believe it's a big story. It's a humiliating story. It's a soap opera. We're going to try to ignore all the 
bad side effects of this. People like, we're not going to ignore Jason Goodwin. He's one of the major players. So what this video about today is about is the major players. Of course, George is supposedly in jail. We don't even know if he was arrested for DUI or not. We have not even seen the arrest report. So we're not even sure that George is in jail, but we are assuming that we are taking the word of his brother, Dave. There's Dave. Now, Dave is on a mission. Why I'm making this video is Dave has been putting videos up and he takes them down. He's very emotional. I believe that the videos he's making are messages to family members, messages to people in his team. He's reaching out very emotionally. He's getting a team together. That's why I'm making this video. Remember, I'm reporting from a distance. I am not on either side. As we go forward, you're going to find out that there's one team and there's another team. Two sides here. I am an independent researcher. I am an independent observer. I am watching this from the bleachers. Think of me as the photographer on the side of the, of the field there. One team against the other. Now who is this team? Dave Acton, or you can call him Dave Swigert. We'll just call him Dave from now on. Dave is setting up a team. I'm going to go over all the players. Dave is setting up a command center. The people he's going after are Jason Goodman and Trish. So I repeat, there are teams being set up. You can almost call it like a government team because Dave considers him a government man and he has government assets to come to bear. It's the government team against the Hollywood Goodman team. Goodman being from Hollywood. So, I don't make this up. I'm just reporting it. Like I say, I'm going to be very clear here. I'm not going to make fun of anybody. I'm not going to humiliate anybody. I'm just going to document what I see as an independent observer, as a citizen journalist. I believe there's something we can learn here. So let's make sure we get the team correct. There's Jason Goodman. Trish is right behind him. They're the two people that Dave Acton is going to go after because his brother, George, there. His brother, George, is in jail. He believes his brother, George, has been manipulated, and he wants to save his brother. That's the story that Dave is putting out. Is this a big psyop? I don't know. As I said, that's why we're studying this. That's why I'm going to have a case study on it. I'm going to try to dig in this as much as we can as an independent observer. And I tell you, in the end, the truth will come out. All we have to do is be patient here. I will reiterate, even though this sounds silly at the moment, a case study on George Webb and a case study on Jason Goodman, it sounds silly now, but as time goes by, the truth will come out, and we will see that we will learn something. So we've established the Hollywood team. You got the Hollywood team down, I hope. Trish and Mr. Goodman. Now we're going to establish the other team. George, you see there, George is in jail now. We don't know what his future holds. Here's Dave. Now Dave has put out four videos just recently today. I believe that he will take those videos down. I believe those videos are directed towards family, friends, and his team. Now he's now I'm going to go forward from this point on. I'm just going to say words that Dave says in his video. I'm just going to observe. Remember, we're not trying to figure out anything right now. We're trying to get all the facts. What are the players saying? And that's the most important part. What the main player in this game right now is Dave versus Mr. Goodman. Now, Dave has put together a command center. Now, this could all be satire. 
all these four videos where he's a very emotional and he's talking about command staff meetings, fusion centers. It could be satire, but I don't totally believe that. I believe he is trying to get some sort of team together. He's going at it in the only way he knows how. He is trained in government ways of thinking, government jargon. And he, all the talk I'm going to go forward with, this is not my kind of talk. This is Dave's talk, and I'm going to repeat the words so you understand where Dave is coming from. Dave is setting up a command staff center, a fusion center. He, and he says he's the incident commander. Okay, so now I'm going I'm to start taking this kind of slowly because I'm just going to have to read what Dave has said. And sometime in the future, we'll be able to decode this. Remember, most of this is code. Dave is talking in government code language. He is trying to teach his team. Now, a lot of these team members are just YouTubers. Let's go over some of the uh, YouTubers that Dave is trying to incorporate in the uh, team. Sugarshine. There's some YouTuber named Sugarshine. The YouTuber Defango, the YouTuber Agent 19, Montagraph. These are some of the people that he has recruited into the team. Now, again, he's setting this up like he is the incident commander. We're going to go into that chart. Dave claims that he is uh, from the state of California, a hazardous incident commander. So, when things happen, a bus goes off the cliff, fires, supposedly Dave is on the scene. I, don't do, I do not know what government agency he works for, or even if he does, but this is the way he's talking. And I've already brought up the people, all the YouTuber he's recruiting. He's all, they're also working on crowdsourcing some money. They want all that money to go to Defango. Defango is going to be like the operations commander an intel commander. Montagraph, supposedly, is going to be an intel chief. Sugarshine will be an intel chief below him. Sugarshine will be the situation unit leader. They are setting up an agenda here to put Jason Goodman and Trish in jail. I repeat, they are working on some sort of elaborate government agenda plan and they want to put Jason Goodman and Trish in jail. I believe they are serious about this. And like I say, this is, this is government team against Hollywood team. We are going to document. We are going to take this as a case study. Very rarely do you get a situation on social media or YouTube where two factions go head to head and each one has an agenda. I believe Jason Goodman's agenda could be making money, PSYOP, I don't know. And of course, Dave's agenda is either PSYOP or get his brother out of trouble. Let's go over some of the words that uh, Dave likes to use. Now, he claims that Jason Goodman could be involved in cyber warfare. And Dave claims that he wrote the book on that. He also brags about he wrote a paper for the Secret Service. Supposedly, Dave has wrote many books and many papers for government agencies. He talks on a macro level. He uses government jargon. He says that his brother is going to have to go to a deprogramming center. He's using the Incident Action Plan, the Incident Command System, ICS. He refers to the ICS as the Incident Command System. And Dave is the Incident Commander because he has the experience in government. Defango will be the live stream where they will collect intel. I repeat, according to Dave, Defango's YouTube channel, his live streaming is where they're going to collect intel. Dave believes that Defango 
is a material witness, that he's protected as a material witness in a federal investigation. Does some of this sound serious? Of course it does. Is Dave bluffing? I don't know. That's what we're going to find out. Now you know why this is a case study. Now you know why I'm operating from the bleachers as an independent observer. As a citizen journalist, I'm watching, I'm reporting. I want to know where this is going. I want to know how it got there. And I want to know why. Okay, we've been over the players. Oh, I forgot one. Linda West is going to be dragged into this. Linda West, Mrs. Hollywood herself. Supposedly she has high connections in Hollywood. Linda West will be the liaisons. I guess I must go into Linda West for a little bit. See, this is not the first time that Dave Acton and Linda West have been dragged into a drama on YouTube. Apparently, about four or five years ago, they were dragged into a big, big drama on YouTube. Was it a psyop back then? I don't know. But they just seem to attract this sort of thing. And it looks to me like Linda West is up for it. She's excited. She's going to jump in there and she's going to be, she's going to get the job done. They are going to save George Webb's ass and they're going to put Jason Goodman and Trish in jail and that's the agenda and they're going to get it done within three to six weeks and they're going to be out there recruiting all the big YouTube channels. You see, they're going, that's again, they, Dave talks about that. He's going to go for the big, big YouTubers. And he's going to reach out, and they're going to help him. He's going to be reaching out to all his government contacts. He's reaching out to his family back in Illinois. So, this goes deep. This goes deep. And uh, let's see what I missed here. Uh, Dave is um, the incident commander. He thinks that this is a military game in the real world. Oh, he talks about swim lanes. Okay, I, I'm going to briefly mention that because he, he thinks of this as in terms of military game and real world scenarios. And there are swim lanes, and that means that all the people that he's recruited onto his team, Sugarshine, Defango, Agent 19, Montagraph, they are going to have their own lanes where they don't get in each other's way. So that's what a swim lane is. They don't want to get in each other's way. Defango, because he's the computer expert, he is going to be the operations commander, the intel commander. His live streaming will be collection of intel. Yes, Dave has it all figured out. And until somebody superior comes into the game, he is going to be the incident commander until somebody superior in the government hierarchy comes in. Again, he believes that there is suspicious activity going on with Jason Goodman. He's going to be going through suspicious activity reports. He's actually going to try to put pressure on every government agency he can. FBI. Every government agency. Port Authority. He wants to embarrass them. He wants to do everything he can going through government channels to put Jason Goodman and Trish behind bars. If I was Jason Goodman, again, I'm an, independent, I'm an independent observer here. But obviously, when you're in a scenario like this, it would be helpful if you were to get attorneys and lawyers involved because I believe everybody involved is going to need an attorney, inc including George, if George is indeed in jail. Remember, we don't know yet how deep or if this is a PSYOP. If it is a PSYOP, how deep is it? How far do the lies go? I say that in time, the truth will come out. We will document it. Today's video was mainly to document that Dave Action, Dave Acton, uh, has, has a plan. He has got the plan all documented. He has it on videos. He has talked to his team and supposedly they know what they're doing, and they believe within three to six weeks they will have Jason, Goodman, and Trish in jail. They're going to go through standard protocol. They have a command post 
As I said, they have Incident Action Plan, Incident Command System, ICS, Incident Command System. This is all government jargon. After they get George out of jail, they want to put him through a deprogramming center. They want to drag Richie from Boston into this. They want to drag all the big YouTubers in this. Is it a honey trap? It could possibly be a honey trap. All I want to know is, is Alex Jones going to get involved? Because if Alex Jones gets involved, then it really, really gets good. Because that guy has made nothing but mistakes. Go for the last six months, he's made nothing but mistake after mistake. So no, it will not surprise me at all if Alex Jones gets involved with this fiasco. But, as I said, this is a case study into human nature, and I believe we've gone over enough for case study number one, Dave Acton, George Webb Swigert, Jason Goodman, and Trish.